Hi everybody, Steve here in Palm Springs, downtown Palm Springs, California. And I'm standing here in front of a sign, as you can read, living out, proposed to be a 55 plus LGBT condo development. They announced this, it seems to me, at least two or three years ago. And construction has not started yet. I don't know if it ever will start. From the sign, it looks like it's still under consideration. The housing market here in Palm Springs seems to be booming. So this seems like it'd be a perfect time for housing construction. But what do I know? I'm not a real estate developer. <laughs> what got me thinking about this development again, after the last few years of completely forgetting about it, I was just watching a YouTube video about the most gay-friendly or LGBT-friendly retirement communities here in the country, in the U.S. And they said that the population of Palm Springs is 50% gay. Now, I don't know if that's completely true or not. You know, it's hard to say for sure. But apparently, it's the gayest city in the entire country and probably the entire world. So I can tell you just from personal experience, from living here full time for the last couple of decades and part time or visiting when my grandparents were living here when I was just a kid, this has always been a very, very LGBT friendly community. I'm curious how many of you live in LGBT friendly towns and cities and communities around the country or in the world. Leave a message down below if you do. And let me know what you think about your LGBT friendly community. And if you've ever been here to Palm Springs and how they compare. And not only is it really LGBT friendly here, but it's LGBT senior friendly. I would guess, I mean, again, this is just from based on my own experiences, that the LGBT community here in Palm Springs is mostly over 55. Lots of retirees here, lots of senior citizens, lots of retirees. I just wanted to stop by and see if they had started construction yet. And obviously they haven't. It's still a vacant lot here, a very huge lot. And if you look straight ahead, that sort of orangish pinkish structure, that's the Palm Springs Convention Center. So that'll give you an idea of where this is located. Just a couple of blocks east of Palm Canyon Drive, which is straight ahead. If you take this street all the way until it dead ends, you end up at the Palm Springs Art Museum. So just curious, would you want to live in a senior community? And even if you are a member of the LGBT community, would you want to live in a community made up of LGBT seniors? Personally, I would love it, but when Jim and I purchased our home here, we weren't quite 55, and there weren't any 55 plus gay communities here yet. So you can see this is the corner here of Tocquets Canyon Way and Hermosa Drive. Palm Springs also has a gay senior center and a gay assisted living community. So let's drive over and see both of those. They're both nearby. Now, if you thought that maybe I was exaggerating about being one of the most LGBT friendly communities in the country and maybe the world, this is the center. This used to be called the LGBTQ or the LGBT Senior Center. And a few years ago, they changed the name. They just dropped the senior part. I'm guessing probably not a lot of gay people want to be referred to as senior citizens. So I, just my guess, that's why they dropped the, uh, the senior. But for the most part, I think it really is still the LGBT Senior Center here in Palm Springs. This is Palm Canyon Drive. And if you take Via Las Palmas West, just up the street here, just a few blocks on the right-hand side, on Ladera Circle, is Elvis's famous former home. And this is the first time I've noticed this star here. John McDonald and Rob Wright, philanthropists. So they were leaders in creating a visible, active, and vibrant LGBT community here in Palm Springs. This is, as far as I know, this is the only star that's not in the downtown area. This is in the northern part of the town, which again is just, you know, a mile or so away. It's not really that far away from downtown. And if you're interested in knowing more, you can just Google it. They do have a website. I believe they have their calendar of activities and you can sign up for a newsletter. Now it does look like it's undergoing a facelift right now. And since so much has been closed this past year, this is probably the best time for it. And just a couple of blocks from the center is this house, which you probably have all seen already. It's Liberace's former Palm Springs home. 
I believe it was his first home or one of the very first homes that he owned here. And it looks almost like it did when he was living here. Now right here at Palm Canyon and Via Escuela is one of the most popular gay bars. And right next door is Stonewall Gardens, an LGBT assisted living facility. I remember back in the 60s, one of the most popular places here was Don the Beachcomber. The whole Hawaiian themed or tiki themed restaurants and bars were very popular back here in the 60s and they still are today in 2021. I'm out for my walk this morning. It's pretty early, so nothing is open right now. I'm not sure how much has really been going on here in this past year or so because of, you know, the lockdown. Wesley Jordan, he's always fun. I don't think he's ever been in anything that was bad. Or maybe he just makes everything that he's in good. Definitely funny, he's hilarious. So, hello. So I'm not going to go inside the assisted living Stonewall Gardens, but I thought I would come and get a little bit closer look, if possible. I was given a tour here a few years ago when they first opened. Actually, it was probably about 10 years ago now, even though it doesn't really seem like it was that long ago. Not for myself, but just to uh, see it. I forget why I was uh, given the tour, but there was a reason. I just don't remember what it was. Okay, six years. All right, so, you know, my time is a little off, but that's not too bad. Honoring the best in senior living. I think this is pretty unique to Palm Springs. I don't think there are a lot of LGBT-friendly senior living centers around the country. If I'm wrong, let me know. If you happen to know of any, share with us in the comments section. It would be fun and interesting and maybe even helpful to some to know. So, do any of you live in a gay assisted living community? If you do, please share with us in the comments section. It would be really interesting to know what your experience has been like. And maybe helpful to others who might be watching this. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again on my next video.